China's largest daily newspaper is telling the president, pack your bags, visit the disaster zone. Mr. President, cut your vacation short. Tony Perkins is the president of the Family Research Council and has personally been affected by these awful floods. He joins us right now from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, Tony, you lost your house, didn't you? Uh, we did, uh, but our loss is uh, minimal compared to what some people have lost. We're, we're able to rebuild. The house didn't wash away, uh, and, and we'll, we'll be able to redo that. But there are folks that are still trying to uh, get back to their homes. We have people still living in shelters. We have people who are trying to find family members. You know, we've already confirmed that uh, over a dozen people have died in oh, this man. flooding. It and we're still trying to connect people with family. So this is far from over, Steve. Yeah, absolutely. And I know you've been involved in disaster relief your whole life. You've never seen anything like this. No, I was uh, I was in New Orleans and Katrina helping pull people out of there. I've worked in Gustav when Governor Jindal was uh, uh, governor down here. I took time off from FRC to help in that disaster relief. And uh, one of the first calls I made after our family escaped in a canoe from our home, uh, I called uh, Franklin Grant's team at Samaritan's Purse. And within 48 hours, they were set up in our church parking lot. They've sent out teams now to help people begin the process of it's a long process yeah. of tearing out the homes, cleaning out the mud, personal belongings. And I'm grateful for the faith-based sure. community that has responded and people from across the country who are wanting to help. If people would like to help, go to our website, foxandfriends.com. Find out how to volunteer and how to send money to frc.org slash flood. Uh, Tony, the, um, Donald Trump, who would like to be the next president of the United States, is en route to Louisiana. He's heading down there to assess the damage along with Mike Pence. Uh, the president of the United States... He's not, and there you see uh, Mr. Trump leaving Trump Tower moments ago. Uh, the president is not coming down. What do you think about that? Well, I mean, I, I'm glad Donald Trump is coming down. I mean, he could have sent a postcard and it would be more than Barack Obama has done. I mean, look, it was three days and uh, people were criticizing George Bush. I, I remember Katrina well. I was on the phone with Karl Rove giving um, uh, kind of an assessment from the ground. Uh, and part of the problem with uh, President Bush coming in was we had a Democratic governor who did not want him to come in yeah. and uh, steal the, the limelight. Here we have, which is interesting, Steve, is we have one of the few Democratic governors that's been elected under the tenure of Barack Obama. And you would think the president would want to be here at his side trying right. to prop him up, but he's not. Uh, th there is a role for the federal government. Sure. Don't get me wrong. I don't think this is all about the federal government. I am so encouraged by people across America who are coming here, and, and we need volunteers yeah. that could come and work with Samaritan's okay. Purse to help people. So this is, this is more than the government. The president could put emphasis by at least Good talking point. about it. Right. All right. Tony Perkins, who lost his house in the flooding down in Louisiana. Tony, thank you very much. Once again, if people would like to help, go to frc.org slash flood and our website. Tony, good luck to you.